right on here. Welcome back everyone, this week we're at Baxter and I'm um, here with Vilium and just Vilium myself and like the 200,000 other people who are here today. It was super super busy because the weather was literally perfect. Some of the regulars here flying by, uh, one of the guys just flew by and the, the second guy who came by he's riding a KTM freeride and he is absolutely flying. Um, I think these guys, I was chatting with them before um, and I think uh, he said that he gets like 300 hours a year riding um, and he was just like sick of maintenance so he got himself a, an electric bike. Uh, so yeah, it was cool. I see, him, I see them there regularly. Kevin, I think his name is. Um, yeah, and then there's another one, Brian, and then the taller guy I, who's the vet pro, uh, sorry, the vet expert guy on the blue Yamaha. I forget his name, so my apologies. <laughs> I'm sure someone recognizes him. Um, but yeah, so I'm here with William and uh, we're just doing practice, uh, just endurance practice and riding practice and um, absolutely fantastic day out. Beautiful, perfect weather, not too humid. Uh, and that's why there are so many people on the trails. Lots and lots of new people I've never seen before. Um, not that I know everybody, but you know, it's, it's cool to see everyone out. And, and they were, yeah, it was good. It was very, very busy in the morning. Um, I just hit myself in the face. Probably should put my goggles on still overgrown a little bit in places <laughs> it's not so bad um but uh yeah take it take it one to the face ain't, ain't great so i'm following william right now uh, we swapped back and forth all day it was it was really good um then like and we were trying to keep a good a good pace up good endurance going mean, throughout the whole day and then of course um we did some like wheelie practice and log hops. My battery was out of by the GoPro because this was after lunch. So like this was before lunch, but then our, we stopped for lunch and my battery was out. And then I was like, ah, oh, whatever. We'll just go do some log hops. We found a pretty cool like fallen tree which we jumped over because it got progressively harder and harder. And we were jumping over that, and um, then we we're like, oh, let's go to the other one, um, the one on the trail that everyone jumps over because we can do a little bit of speed practice jumping like that log. Anyway, so we're riding there and we're taking it a lot more casual. Um, and I was like, oh, look, there's a berry bush on the left hand side. Maybe I can pick some berry, uh, blackberries for my wife. And I wasn't paying attention and I lost the front. Oh, I like the little woo-hoo like... as you went by. <laughs> <laughs> he woo-hooed me as he went by. It was, it was great. And I was like, oh, I can pick some berries for my wife. Uh, maybe I'll stop or I'll come back and come back and get them after we've done the, the log hops. And uh, a corner came up and I wasn't really paying attention and I lost the front. Now, I was only doing, what, 15, 15K, 10K? It really wasn't fast. I, I, I like truly wasn't fast. Um, just wasn't paying attention. And I lost the front and uh, I, I fell. And as I landed on my side, I landed with my hip right into a tree stump. And holy shit, like it was like a fist sized tree stump that stopped me dead. And it was like, it hit me right between all my armor. So like it didn't like, not. I, I wear like the, um, one of the, uh, like soft armors so I, I, it has like a chest piece and a side back and sides but it, it went straight into my hips and um yeah i now have an enormous bruise on the side of my body um for a couple of days i was getting like these ping like tingling fiery shooting pains going down every time i tried to move it was very very uncomfortable it felt like uh, when I bent over or whatever, or moved, that like my skin was moving separate to my, like the meat of my body. Very uncomfortable. I'm better now. I was able to go to the gym today and pretty much work out normally. I, I mean, I didn't do squats or nothing like that, but I can do other exercises. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm recovering. Um, <laughs> Jesus, I couldn't believe it. Of course, it's sods law. I mean, you, everyone falls like that. A thousand times, it, and you wouldn't pay any any note to it because it's not it's not something to talk about. Who gives a shit, right? Like everybody does a silly fall now and then, but not everybody does an exact fall and is stopped right on top of a bloody tree stump. <laughs> there was all sorts of riders out today. Um, I've seen these ladies before. They're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, yeah, I've I've seen them um, riding around. Sure. Now they're they're pretty uh, um, polite and kind, and they let us by every time we come up behind them. So that's what I was going. I was trying to think of the words. Can't think, talk, look at what's going on at the same time. Even though that's basically how I do my videos. <laughs> Just <laughs> rabble on for about ten minutes and call it a day. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, it was great. Get out with William. Um, yeah, I got oh my, my my all my moose have arrived, so I'll try and get those installed this weekend. Um, or this week, sorry. Um, hopefully, like I might wait till Friday, get it done then, because the bruise is pretty bad and I can't really exert myself too much. And uh, well, I've got a stand. Um, Kiwi Brian, he lent me his his moose tire changing stand. It's not a rubber corner, but it's basically a rubber corner. So, if, like, that should hopefully make my life easier, though I heard it's basically all just technique. So, I'll study the videos and get on th get on with that. So, I, I, I hope I can get those in. Um, that'll be great. Give them a good test out at Chloe's, or at least, very least, break them in. Because I've been told, like, you know, you need to wear them in for a good few hours before they're, like, good. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that before the event. But, whatever, I can wear them in at the event. <laughs> hey, blow that corner. Um... Yeah, so, um, yeah, that would be good to get them tested out and try them out and see what they're like in a bit of a bumpy, gnarly situation. They're the 10 PSI ones. I, I, I figured if... I, I was chatting with uh, Irish Rob, and he was like, don't bother getting the soft ones, because the soft ones, if they're too soft, you can't make them harder. But the hard ones, you can you can just drill them if they're, if they're just too much, if they're just too hard. Um, and they soften over time as well. So... I figured, yeah, okay, I'll just take his advice and go with go with what he said, do what he said. I mean, this is the first I've ever got, right? So, and I was thinking about, like, yeah, they're expensive, but then I was thinking about how many tubes I've got through over the last couple of years, three years. And I've, I've got through, like, five tubes, punctures and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, five tubes, that's, like, what, 30, po 30 quid, uh, quid, 30 bucks a tube? It's not that, not that much. I mean, it's like, that's like the cost of one moose, but hey ho. Um, yeah. See, there was a lot of people out. <laughs> that's, that was like one group. I saw another group of probably similar size. But hey, it's all cool. More people, more the merry. Brings uh, more notice to the sport. You meet some cool people and have a good chat with people in the car park and yeah. I don't have a few much else to say this week. It was just a really good day out riding, practicing, endurance, not getting any blisters on my hand. Uh, very happy with how the bike is running. It's just it's running basically perfectly. I, I've got nothing to complain. I just need to improve my own skills. I, I managed to get to that equilibrium in the suspension a few times where I was riding at the speed where um, it just felt like there was nothing in the in the in the suspension because it was just felt super smooth. I was super happy to get that feeling again, chasing that dragon, the suspension dragon. Um, yeah, just a beautiful day out, good day to ride. Feels like I'm riding super fast. But. I am definitely riding faster than I usually would, I think. And I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more confident through the whoops. Um, just trying to remember what Big Iron was telling me telling me last year. Trying to practice what he was telling me last year. Um, just taking everything that I've been talking about over the last few rides and just trying to put it all together. Just, I know this is like a super easy place to ride. It's super smooth, but that's kind of why I come here, right? It's easy so I can just practice. Ooh, people coming the other way. But yeah, it's easy so I can practice and just practice somewhere where it's not like I'm getting absolutely smashed to piece because the trail's super high. I can just ride around safely and practice the basics. Um, I mean, more of the story from earlier is just ride around fast when you're paying attention and then you don't start staring at berry bushes. I didn't even pick any berries up. I was so pissed off afterwards because I was in so much pain that I didn't even go back to go get some berries after all of that. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, more of the story, ride faster, I guess. Um, but yeah, it, it's good here. It's good here. You get to practice and it's safe. And there's so many people around, so if I fuck up and I'm just laying on the trail, someone's going to come by relatively soon. <laughs> so that's always good. Although it does quiet down in the afternoon. It's always just super crazy busy in the mornings. And then, like, I, after lunch, half the people have gone. Whether they move to another trail or just go home, I don't know. Oh, 
de definitely get some good fun jumps down these down these trails. But yeah, I think um, yeah that'll do. I'll see you guys at Chloe's Kingdom, and that'll do for this week. See ya.